Hello there, I'm Hugh Langley, this is John McCann. Hello. Uh, we're here today to talk about smartwatch batteries. Why are they so bad? Are they gonna get any better? Um, I was recently with Qualcomm, I'm um, talking about this. Qualcomm who famously, uh, well, uh, inside most uh, the Android Wear watches at the moment and many other wearables as well. Um, the bottom line is, Basically, the battery's not gonna get better anytime soon. It's kind of the deal that we have in the mobile phone where smartphone batteries aren't really improving either, um, which is annoying because it's basically a case that manufacturers are playing with ideas at the moment. You know, they wanna throw in as much stuff. We're kind of in sort of gen one time at the moment. With massively smart, annoying, yeah. massively annoying. But part of it is the fault of the technology. Battery technology simply just hasn't yeah. grown at the same rate as everything else. Yeah. We're stuck with lithium ion because it is actually the best option currently available. Yes, yeah. there's lots of people working on lots of amazing sounding battery tech, but none of them yeah. are actually commercially viable mm. or actually generate enough path to actually yeah. power devices. So, so we are stuck with it. Yeah. Another part of it, and you know, it's a bit accusatory, but the, the manufacturer is saying it's the consumer's fault. The consumers are all, always wanting more from devices. Mm, mm. We want better screens, we want better cameras, mm. et cetera, et cetera. And while some people would be like, oh no, you can't blame us. It, mm. it is a bit of to and fro. So but trying with, to find that with balance With smartwatches is it's different though, because it's not like, uh, charging a watch is a bit more of a faff, I think, for people. Yes. Um, I, I think as well as the case of basically at the moment, it's, it's more of a catching up thing. So I think the good example was kind of the original G Watch, which had a battery life about a day. Yeah. And then the G Watch R had two days. And then the new, the Urbane has with the LTE also has about two days apparently. So they've managed to just keep it. So it's yeah. kind of a case of just making sure we're not losing battery power. But I think it, it is a problem um, in terms of, you know, wearables are a different thing to a mobile phone. And, and one of the interesting points that, that Qualcomm said to me was that um, from their own sort of research, they found that, you know, people will be happier to charge their watch on either daily or on a weekend but but there's no point you know increasing it by half a day yeah. or even a day because a day to, to two days with a watch really is you know people can like well you know i'm going to charge it overnight or i'm just going to do it every week or whatever so i think there's an interesting point there in the case that there's, there's kind of no incentive to improve smartwatch batteries much at the moment um, the thing that they're focusing on now is the charging side of battery life. Yeah. It's fast charging, it's convenient charging. Yeah. So fast charging is something that lots of people are doing. Samsung, LG, Qualcomm, yeah. lots of people are looking at that. Also convenient charging. IKEA now do a range of wireless charging furniture. So you mm. can buy a bedside table which has a wireless charger built into it. So your compatible device, you literally just put it on your bedside table. Mm. You know, if, if smartwatches, if that, if that commodity can be made mm. in every house, in every device, then mm then that sort of negates the issue of battery life because you mm. can get to where you can just stick your watch on your desk for half an hour, it's charged out, you mm. put it back on your wrist. I think the other thing as well, just to wrap up, is another, another thing Qualcomm said to me at the time was, you know, they're not, I, it doesn't sound like they're looking to do a kind of all-inclusive wearable chip. You know, a lot of people have been calling out for the kind of flagship chip that will, will help all these manufacturers come together. But I think the answer at the moment is it's still so early that there's no point, you know, they might put like a Snapdragon or something in one, device but something else like you know Google Glass will require better camera whatever so it's difficult we, we don't have this kind of one size fits all with wearables which I think a lot of people think we do um, so I think I, you know really is we are in sort of gen one at this at the moment and um, it'll be interesting to see how it un un unwraps but I, I don't think we're going to be seeing the battery life honestly improving on smartwatches in the foreseeable future it's a shame massively yeah so there we have it Battery life's probably not going to get better. Does that really annoy you or do you not really care? Let us know in the comments and thank you for watching.